Welcome to Encouragement and Prayer. I want to thank you for watching the video and sharing the video with your family and friends so together we can be encouragement to others and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading from 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 5. So be alert to all these things and overcome every form of evil. Carry in your heart the passion of your calling as your church planter and an evangelist and to fulfill your ministry calling. Each of us has a calling to add to the Lord Jesus Christ's church. We are to tell others what the Word of God says. We are not to teach what people want to hear. We are not to encourage them to live the lives they desire, but to teach a life that is transformed. No matter what happens, preach the Word of God as the Lord leads with passion, wisdom, and patience. There will be people that will want you to preach only good things for their own desires. They will not want to hear the truth. They may even follow for a period but they will eventually depart from the church so they can do what they want to do. Some may even try to harm the church for their own arrogance. As we lead others in the church, we have to be aware of these people so they will not cause others to fall away from the truth. Remember as you lead others, it is the Lord who is with you and is empowering you. Lord, I just want to pray right now for pastors, evangelists, leaders, those in, within your church that have a desire to see the church grow, to see your church grow. Discipling others, telling them that they can be saved from their sins. And as they lead them to salvation, they do not stop there, but they also continue to disciple that their life is to be a transformation from what they were to what you want them to be. A life that is pure and holy to one day to perfection. So I pray this things in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to give you the opportunity right now, if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that He died for your sins, so you can ask for forgiveness. I ask you to pray with me right now as I pray, repeating after me. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your Son, Jesus, to pay the penalty of my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, obey, and serve you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen.
that you pray that prayer. Jesus is your Savior. But I want to encourage you, just as you pray, to make Him Lord of your life. Pray to God. Speak with Him. Listen to Him. And to read the Word of God. Reading the Word of God. You live, you learn to live the life you're supposed to live. Pure, holy, and sinless.